Hey Shooby Doodlers, well last time I showed you how I made these little model spaceships uh, so I knew how to draw them and this is a little mouse spaceship that comes from my Dark Claw story series uh, and I'm going to show you how to draw one today but let's not talk about it, <laughs> let's do it. Hey Shooby Doodlers, uh, today I'm going to show you how to draw this uh, mouse spaceship and um, this comes from my <laughs> story series called Dark Claw and look, click here there's a link here somewhere which will take you to the first episode and you find out what on earth it's all about and it's kind of like a fight between uh, cats and mice but it is really about this one cat called Dark Claw that's a K with a cat with a K um, and what I'm doing here is this is the kind of the front of the uh, mouse spaceship and this is the back so it's kind of creating like a cone and then I'm going to want to put this bulbous nose on the front this is the nose our guidance system um, and then this is going to want to come up at the back and around for the ears and again you're going to want another ear there so it's giving you this kind of mouse look to the whole thing um, and this is going to be the kind of cockpit control area and then we're also going to want to have that kind of landing skids as well something like that slightly changing the lighting here um, and I'm going to start here with this ear. I'm just going to come around. And then I'm going to do the nose cone piece as well. I'm just going to like that. Then I know that this can kind of connect up to there. This will come up here. And then that one's going to sweep up and around. And then there's kind of, you don't want to have a line connecting that and here we want this this is the cockpit which is kind of sweeping up there like that and then these are the kind of landing skids which come down there like that um, and I'm going to do something like this to give a bit of kind of thickness to the skids that will go behind and I think we'll just see a little bit of the skid in the background. Now this is all kind of put together, uh, kind of made out of um, riveted plates, like you know you see it on um, spaceships. And so I want to get that kind of effect of, of these kind of plates that have been riveted together, and that's going to go down the middle. So I'm going to put these the curve lines in here and this also helps to give a kind of a feeling of curvature to the whole thing I think that's about where I'm going to go yeah so I'm I'm kind of making it up as I go along <laughs> I put those uh, lines in there as uh, guides I'm going to put that one there and then that will be there and then I'm going to go like that. So if I do this kind of bit of a curve at the top, it kind of gives a thickness to these fins or ears or whatever they're actually meant to be. Uh, and then we want to kind of build them up like bricks as well, really. So that will then come to there. And then this can probably go there. A little flick at the end will give it that sense of curving there. And then that will be there. Mm, that's going to come about there, I think. And then we want to put lots of little rivet dots. When you're completely sure it is dry, you can erase those pencil marks 
And I'm going to start painting this nose cone and I'm going to leave a bit of white there. I'm going to let it get, let the colour thin as I go further away from that central bit. Maybe we ought to have um, a couple of kind of mice in there piloting the thing. Those will be their seats. I'm not going to make them quite kind of grey. Nothing too special, just kind of hidden away in the background. And basically I'm going to do this in a kind of grey mostly. And it's a grey blue. And if you go and look at the, the actual story, the artwork on the story is all is all grey. And that's because I did the story for a black and white book. Um, and <laughs> there's hundreds and hundreds of pieces of artwork. I'm not going to redo them. Um, I'm kind of, what's what's the term, repurposing my artwork. And, uh, and anyway, that's kind of what the artwork was like originally. So that's how, how I'm leaving it on the story, on, on the uh, animated thing. And I'm kind of trying to do a little bit of animation and make it a bit more fun. And also trying to do exciting storytelling. <laughs> you have to tell me whether I've succeeded doing that. I'm going to put a little bit of extra kind of harsh shadow in there. And then we're going to want to have obscure some of this to make it look like you're looking through something. Now to give a, a very quick kind of star field effect, I've got a, a peel off China marker. Uh, you can get these around the place. I got mine off Amazon. Uh, I don't know if I got a link. I'll try and put a link in the in the in the comments box below. I'm gonna load up on this very dark kind of bluey. And you can see that the um, the white wax, you could use a candle. A candle works just as well. And then you can see how the stars, <laughs> all the little white wax things, well, they don't let it stick to the paper rather. And so you get this kind of white shines through and it's just a really quick, easy way of doing stars. There you go. How to draw a mouse spaceship. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. And if you did, why not go and see the first episode of Dark Claw and find out what it's all about or have a go at the mystery drawing. Either way, make sure you are subscribed to the Shoe Rainer Drawing Channel for lots more drawing and stuff, all that children's books and illustration and things. And uh, why not click to go and have a look at my website, shoerainer.com, find out about all the other books I write. In the meantime, keep drawing, drawing, drawing. Practice, 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 and I'll see you next time. You take care now. Bye-bye.